tried to keep it right, right on time. We've got uh, 10 minutes left. And uh, again, we really want to make sure that out of this, we grow an army of people devoted to marriage. That's why we're going to all these different states. Obviously, Maine is a key state. We uh, have Iowa, where we're pushing for a constitutional amendment. And the only way that's going to happen is if some people lose their seats there. Yeah. New Hampshire, I'm very confident that you're going to see a fundamental change in the in the New Hampshire legislature for the first time. Hey. First time, the first time in history, you will see a legislature that passed same-sex marriage be thrown out of office and then the next legislature repeal it. Governor John Sununu in New Hampshire, he deserves a lot of credit because he's seen from a long time ago. He's realized that, uh, again, I've mentioned Tim Gill's name before. He's a multimillionaire who's funded a lot of candidates throughout the country, including candidates in New Hampshire. He saw what was happening and he's willing to stand up and work uh, to defeat it and expose it. Uh, Governor John Lynch, uh, who had said he was with us on the marriage issue and then uh, betrayed us. Uh, he now has a candidate, John Stevens, who has committed to signing a repeal bill. And I believe John Stevens, given that John Lynch is now below 50% approval, he's, he's, there's a chance for him to be defeated. So in some of these states, we're fighting uh, to change the legislatures. In some states, we need to lobby effectively to get an amendment. Pennsylvania, North Carolina. There are states that should have constitutional amendments that don't, and we're working there. So it's all across the country. But in each state, we need as many activists as possible. So please, at the end of this rally, go to the back. Please sign up. We're sorry it wasn't louder. I'm trying to yell for you. Uh, but I do want to say to you, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for making this a, a success. I'm so glad that so many people took time out in the middle of the day to come. Uh, I will be here later and the other speakers will be here later to answer questions. Uh, more than anything, events like this show each of us that there are many more people out there like us. And knowing that should give you strength to, as I said, stand up like the Wil William Wilber forces of the world. Stand up like the Martin Luther King Juniors of the world. Stand up, refuse to be silenced, don't be intimidated and speak truth to power. Do it, do it lovingly, there's nothing unloving said today. Do it respectfully, but do it forcefully. God bless you, thank you for being here.